There's a lot that needs to be done because doping is becoming a very, very nightmarish affair here in the country. I know the government has a place that it's uh, playing in making sure that this uh, stops. At the same time, ADAC, and this is the anti-doping agency of Kenya, needs also to fight this war the best way that they can. And also the athletes, they have a very, very huge responsibility. And you will agree because they are the people who always go out there and some of them taint the Kenyan name. Let's talk about a different athlete altogether. And this is a star, Noeli from Benin. She will be running in the 800 meters. You think about it. Yes, we have a good 800 meters athlete here in the country. But for her, she's saying, yes, it will be a ladies' affair, but she's optimistic that it will not be a Kenyan party. She wants to spoil that dance, and she believes she has that tenacity, the mindset, and also the ability to spoil it and take it the Benin way. Welcome again to Kenya. Probably let's begin your name. I know you've said 800 meters, and I've seen your session actually. You seem to have enjoyed it. Yeah, my name is uh, Noeli Arigo. I'm from Benin Republic. I'm happy to be here in Kenya. How will you say the day has been? Because I saw you came quite early alone to start with. And uh, at least uh, your body, I think, at this particular time will say it's fit and ready for action on Saturday. Yeah, I'm ready to, to win this race. Um, I train. Um, I train for for this competition, so I'm ready. <laughs> Not your first time in Kenya, because you've been uh, coming in Kenya at different times and enjoying it uh, here. Probably, how will that aid you as you try as much as possible to win the race? Um, Kenya is like my second home, so. Uh, because I used to, to be here every year to, uh, for training camp. And uh, um, I know uh, the lady who will uh, run with me uh, for this competition, so I don't fear. I just close the fingers to, to run fast. I know the Kenyans will try as much as possible to win it at home, and you're saying you want to win it. Probably, do you have a, something specific that you think will play as advantage for you uh, coming from Benin, fighting, trying to win against the Kenyans, who a lot of people will say they're the favorite because they're playing and running in their own backyard? Yeah, I know, I know that uh, Kenyan lady is uh, very strong, but... Uh... Even me, I'm strong, so <laughs> I believe uh, on my tra uh, training, I believe uh, what uh, I do in training, so I will fight to, to win uh, this race. I know it is several minutes past two, and when you can see, uh, I can uh, see actually some fans have uh, started to trickle in to this uh, venue, but expect this uh, place to be almost uh, packed, not exactly packed because there is the health restriction, so it will not be that uh, packed. At least uh, 2,000 spectators will be here, and they will be following to see how exactly the races will be. Remember, the official opening ceremony will be at uh, 3 o'clock, but before that, we're just uh, showing you the mood. Let's uh, digest it a little bit, because I know the Kenyans are hosting it and we've had quite a number of issues when we talk about facilities. It is a key issue that also needs to be fixed because Nyao Stadium, yes, we have it at this particular time, but the PS, I know earlier you heard him say that there is more work that needs to be done in different facilities and also here at Nyao National Stadium. But all in all, we hope that Kenya will be able to have marvelous facilities because Nyayo National Stadium and also Kasarani, you will agree, they are not enough. But let's talk about a different uh, event altogether. And this is